One man is dead and another in jail after a late night stabbing in Cottage Grove. Good evening, I'm Jessica Davis. It happened at the Frontier Mobile Home Park on Highway 99. KEZI 9 News reporter Stacy Kafka joins us live in the studio with our top story at 6. Stacy. Jessica, police released very few details about a stabbing that killed 30-year-old Sam Hunt. We talked with some neighbors today, and overall, anyone who knew those involved say they're not surprised things got violent. Late Friday night, officers responded to a 911 call that a man had been stabbed in this Cottage Grove trailer park. A neighbor says Sam Hunt had been causing trouble in the park and got in an altercation with Willie Beatty last night. Police say Friday night, Beatty stabbed Hunt. A neighbor says it happened inside this trailer and Hunt then walked outside and collapsed onto this roadway. Police aren't saying much other than that they arrested this man, Willie Beatty, near the trailer last night. Many neighbors would not speak to the media on camera, but the man living directly behind the crime scene says the home where it happened is a pretty troubled spot. I think it's just the problem is behind my house, the person, whoever it is. I think, I don't know what they're doing drugs or what, but that's all I hear and it's not normal. <laughs> he describes hearing screaming and yelling at all hours of the night. Every once in a while I hear screaming and yelling. And somebody's, you know, just screaming and yelling like, you know, normal. And then in some, like late at night, like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, I hear that too. And then that's pretty much all I hear. But last night was different. Well, I didn't hear nothing, no screaming, no yelling like any other night. And while he's saddened by the loss of life, he says it might make the neighborhood a little bit quieter late at night. Both Cottage Grove Police and the Lane County District Attorney are investigating this alleged homicide. We'll continue to bring you the latest information on this case once it becomes available. Reporting live in the studio, Stacey Kafka, KEZI 9 News.